Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I have the Tesman EMF meter to share with y'all. I thought you might find this interesting. You can kind of see it's already got some readings. That's because I have Bluetooth from my microphone to the camera, and that would be RF. And apparently we are in the safe zone at five milliwatts per meter squared. However, if we get up nice and close to the microphone, look at that, there's the microphone, there's the meter. You're gonna have to tell me if I'm still safe. Let's get over to the bench and take a look. The Tesman EMF meter Hound 200, as if it is going to fox and hound, go find something like a hound dog, sniff it out. It comes in a nice neat little box, but when you open it up, there's magic inside. There is a nice little carrying case and a very, very thick manual. But that's because it's multiple languages. Where's the end of the English instructions? Yep, there you go. 15 pages is the end of the English, and then that's all the other languages. German, French, maybe some other languages, like that one. All right, inside of the case. I like this case. There is a set of Duracell batteries. Nice. And the meter itself. On the back side of the meter, you can see it has its electric field sensor at the front. Its microwave or RF antenna is also at the front. And then its magnetic field sensor, and it has a little diagram here, ZYX. Electric field is one volt to 2000 volts reading. And the RF microwave of 0.001 milliwatts per meter squared to 200 milliwatts per meter squared. Magnetic field 0.01 micro T to 200 micro T or 0.1 mg to 2000 mg. I'm used to Henry, so I'm not really sure what measurement that is. And then you have your battery case. I put some rechargeable batteries in there. It has been working fine with the rechargeable batteries. It, oh, hold on, I'm gonna get yelled at, hang on. There we go. That's taken care of. Crisis avoided. Turn it on, it has a nice screen. And this is probably reading the Bluetooth from my microphone that's going to the camera up here and I feel like I'm in the Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? And that is an RF reading of 13 milliwatts per meter squared and the peak has been 15.6 milliwatts and when we're over exposure limit according to this. Yeah, it's definitely reading the Bluetooth from my microphone to my camera. Nice, let's go do some field tests. This is my Ninja Woodfire grill. I wanna see if it has any electrical leakages coming out of it and it looks pretty safe so far. But if I come over here to the GFI circuit that's built in. There's some leakage going on there. And if I move over to where the cable's connected, there's a little bit there. It says we're over. Oh, no, we're safe. No, we're over. And let's go look at where it plugs into the wall. We're safe, we're safe. Well, oh, no, we're over. We're all gonna die, we're over. All right, this is what it looks like indoors. The display at the top is just awesome. I love that little ghost detector. And the screen is perfectly readable inside with its backlight. And let's do a little test with some FT8 on HF. This is 20 meters at one watt. And I am rocking the 17 foot whip with four 10 meter radials. You can see a little blip there. I guess that's when FT8 started. Let's go check the base of the antenna. Looking pretty good. And a little blip there. And if I could reach the top of the antenna, you'd probably see something entirely different at the top of the antenna than you do at the bottom. And just for reference, this is what one watt of FT8 transmitting looks like from Wisconsin. Let's try some two meters. I'm testing out the electrical range of the meter. Let's key up right over top of the electrical sensor. Overload. Move it away a little bit. See where we're at. Nice. Let's switch it to RF mode. And we are overloaded. 148 milliwatts per meter squared, 200 milliwatts per meter squared. Overload, 190, 140, 110, 180. It's fairly sensitive. It 
it has a peak setting. So if I let go, it should stay. There you go, that is the Tesman EMF meter, the Ghostbuster detector. I love that little meter on the top front of it. That's pretty awesome. There is a link in the description down below where you can get one of these if you are interested. Explore your EMF world. There's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.